Griner has played professional basketball in Russia the last seven winters. Tonight, jailed WNBA star Brittany Griner's detention extended one month. New video showing her with her head down, covered in an orange hoodie in handcuffs, leaving a Russian courthouse. Her lawyer saying we can expect that the final charge will be brought soon and the case will be sent to court. Griner, a two-time Olympic gold medalist and three-time All-American basketball player, was arrested in February by Russian customs officials at an airport near Moscow when she was allegedly caught with a vape cartridge containing hash oil, according to Russian authorities. Griner claims she's innocent. The U.S. says she is wrongfully detained. We take our responsibility to assist U.S. citizens seriously. Fans and stars from the professional basketball world sharing their outrage on social media with the hashtag WeAreBG. NBA point guard Chris Paul wearing a shirt with Griner's face on it. He's a huge part of the community here. I mean, we all support her. Just want to try to get her home as soon as possible. The WNBA adorning each of their courts with her initials and number, BG42, in her honor. Griner has played professional basketball in Russia the last seven winters. What is the hardest part about this for you? The, the hardest part is that she is over there trying to feed her family. Her friend and former coach, Basketball Hall of Famer Don Staley. I hope I can come back on your show within the next 30 days with great news. Just happy tears of having her home with her family. Diplomats from the U.S. Embassy spoke with Griner on Friday and reported she is doing well as can be expected in these circumstances, according to a State Department spokesperson. She's now been imprisoned for more than 80 days and could face up to 10 years in prison if convicted. What do you want people to know about Brittany and, and the kind of person that she is? Is it a dire situation? Absolutely, it is. But you know, Brittany's tough. She's tough-minded, she's, she's tough-hearted. You know, basketball gives you a certain type of strength to endure pretty much everything. And Isa Gutierrez joins us now. Isa, I understand a former U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Bill Richardson, has been brought in to, to try to help negotiate Brittany's release? Yeah, that's right, Gotti. Actually, Brittany's family asked for him to get involved. Richardson is known for helping uh, in these situations. Uh, he's helped Americans overseas uh, being held uh, be released in the past. Most recently, uh, Trevor Reed, a former U.S. Marine, just last month, uh, who was released in an exchange. He'd been in prison there uh, in Russia for three years. So keep in mind, though, Gotti, this is a process that can really take a long time, especially if in the coming months, uh, uh, we find out that she has been convicted.